Have you ever pondered over the unsolved mysteries of World War II? This was a time when the world was shrouded in the darkness of war, but amid the chaos there were events, incidents, and tales that remain enigmatic to this day. Today, we will journey through the fog of history to shed light on some of these mysteries. We'll explore the perplexing case of the I-52 submarine, a vessel that disappeared without a trace, leaving behind only questions. We'll delve into the infamous Battle of Los Angeles, a night of panic and confusion that is still fiercely debated. We'll investigate the elusive gold composition, a treasure that has eluded historians and treasure hunters alike. We'll recount the chilling ghost stories from Pearl Harbor, and lastly we will step inside the enigmatic Amber Room, a marvel of human artistry that vanished in the turmoil of war. And as a bonus, we will discuss one of the most debated figures of that era, Hitler. So, prepare to dive into the abyss of the unknown. Our first mystery takes us beneath the ocean waves to the case of the I-52 submarine. In the midst of World War II, a Japanese submarine known as the I-52 embarked on a mission of utmost secrecy. Loaded with two tons of gold and other valuable cargo, it was sent halfway across the globe, tasked with establishing a connection between Japan and Nazi Germany. But, as fate would have it, the I-52 never reached its destination. It vanished, swallowed whole by the depths of the Atlantic Ocean. The disappearance of the I-52 remains one of the most baffling enigmas of the war. Questions swirl around its fate like the currents that claimed it. Did it fall victim to an enemy attack, or did it succumb to the relentless pressure of the deep sea? These questions, like the submarine itself, have remained submerged in mystery, resurfacing only in the realm of speculation. Some suggest that the I-52 was sunk by the American submarine hunter, the USS Bogue. The Bogue, after all, was patrolling the very waters the I-52 was thought to be navigating, yet without any tangible proof, this theory remains as elusive as the submarine itself. Others propose a more chilling scenario. Could the I-52 have been lost due to an internal malfunction or navigational error? The thought of the crew trapped inside a malfunctioning submarine slowly sinking into the abyss is a grim one indeed, yet, without a trace of wreckage or a distress signal, this theory too holds water as well as a sieve. Despite numerous expeditions, the final resting place of the I-52 and its precious cargo remains unknown. The submarine has eluded detection, slipping through the fingers of history and into the realm of legend. But, as any good mystery enthusiast knows, the allure of the unknown is what keeps us diving back in, hoping to finally unveil the truth. The I-52 submarine remains one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of World War II. Next, we take you to the City of Angels, Los Angeles for a battle that may or may not have happened. It was a chilly February night in 1942, when the city of Los Angeles was thrust into a state of panic. Suddenly, air raid sirens echoed throughout the city, and a total blackout was ordered. The military had detected an unidentified object in the skies above Los Angeles. This event, now known as the Battle of Los Angeles, remains shrouded in mystery. The military response was swift and dramatic. Searchlights scanned the darkened skies and anti-aircraft guns roared, firing shells into the night. For hours, the city was gripped in a state of chaos and confusion. When dawn finally broke, there was no evidence of any enemy aircraft leading many to question what had actually transpired. The official explanation was that it was a false alarm caused by war nerves. The military believed that the unidentified object was likely a weather balloon, and the incident was chalked up to heightened anxiety following the attack on Pearl Harbor a few months prior. However, this explanation didn't sit well with everyone. Some witnesses claimed to have seen a large round object in the sky, unlike any aircraft of the time. This led to a slew of conspiracy theories, with some suggesting that it was an extraterrestrial craft, others believed it was a psychological warfare experiment by the Japanese. While some speculated it was an early test of secret military technology, despite numerous investigations, no definitive conclusion has ever been reached. In fact, the event has only grown more perplexing with time. The government's insistence on a weather balloon explanation, despite the lack of physical evidence, only fueled the conspiracy theories. Moreover, the fact that over 1,000 rounds of ammunition were reportedly fired without bringing down the supposed balloon raised further doubts. So, was it a case of war nerves, a misidentified weather balloon or something more sinister we may never know? 
The Battle of Los Angeles continues to baffle historians and conspiracy theorists alike. Now let's turn our attention to a mystery that involves not soldiers or submarines, but gold. The glimmering allure of Nazi gold has captivated historians and treasure hunters for decades. This isn't your everyday gold, but a vast fortune that vanished in the chaos of World War II. The Nazis amassed this wealth through looting and force, and as the war turned against them they strived to hide it, dispersing it across various locations. Some say it's resting at the bottom of Austrian lakes, others argue it's hidden in Swiss bank vaults, and more daring theories suggest it's buried in secret underground vaults. Despite countless expeditions and extensive research, the bulk of this gold remains elusive. The reasons why are as varied as the theories about its location. Some suggest the gold has been melted down and reintroduced into global circulation, others believe it's protected by booby traps and a web of deceit. The Nazi gold remains a tantalizing mystery, one that continues to lure treasure hunters to this day. Our next mystery takes us to the haunting shores of Pearl Harbor. It is here on these tranquil waters where whispers of a spectral figure, known as the Ghost of Pearl Harbor, echo through the night. Sightings of this apparition have been reported for decades, captivating and chilling those who dare to tread these historic grounds after sunset. Some witnesses describe a figure of a sailor, dressed in the uniform of the World War II era, wandering aimlessly. His eyes, they say, reflect a profound sadness, a testament perhaps to the tragedy that unfolded here on that fateful day in December 1941. Others recount seeing a spectral ship eerily similar to the USS Arizona gliding silently across the harbor. The theories around these sightings are as varied as they are fascinating. Some believe that this ghostly figure might be a lost soul of one of the more than 2,000 American servicemen who lost their lives in the Pearl Harbor attack. Still, others speculate that it could be the collective energy of the sorrow and devastation that the attack left in its wake, forever imprinted on the very fabric of this historic site. Then there are those who delve deeper into the realm of the paranormal, suggesting that these apparitions are not necessarily the spirits of the deceased but rather echoes of a traumatic past, replaying like a broken record trapped in a timeless loop. But why does the ghost of Pearl Harbor continue to intrigue us? Perhaps it's our human instinct to seek answers, to unravel the unknown, to understand what lies beyond the veil of death. Or maybe it's a reminder of our past, a silent sentinel bearing witness to one of the most tragic events in our history ensuring we never forget. As we delve into the mysteries of the world we are constantly reminded that not all answers can be found in the realm of the physical. Some things defy explanation, adding to the rich tapestry of our collective folklore. The ghost of Pearl Harbor serves as a chilling reminder of the war's devastating impact. Our final mystery brings us to the heart of Russia, to the Lost Amber Room. This stunning masterpiece of Baroque art, adorned with over six tons of amber panels backed with gold leaf and mirrors, was constructed in the 18th century. Originally housed in the Catherine Palace of Sarskoye Selo near St. Petersburg, it was considered an eighth wonder of the world. But amidst the chaos of World War II, this glittering treasure disappeared. In 1941, the Nazis dismantled the room and transported it to Germany. After that, the trail went cold. Despite extensive investigations and numerous theories, its whereabouts remain unknown. Efforts to find the Amber Room continue to this day, with historians and treasure hunters alike drawn in by the allure of its unsolved mystery. Its loss is a poignant reminder of the cultural cost of war, a masterpiece forever lost to the world. The Amber Room, a priceless piece of history, vanished into thin air adding another layer to the enigma that is World War II. As a bonus, we delve into the most debated mystery of them all, Adolf Hitler. The official narrative suggests Hitler died by suicide in his bunker as the Allies closed in on Berlin. However a flurry of conspiracy theories emerged in the aftermath, spinning tales of his escape and ensuing life in hiding. Some claim that he fled to Argentina, living out his days under an assumed identity, Others contend that he sought refuge in Antarctica, in a secret Nazi base, supposedly constructed there. Then there are the alleged sightings, men in Brazil, Spain, even the United States, all said to bear a striking resemblance to the infamous dictator. Each account fuels the enigma, adding layers to a story shrouded in uncertainty. As intriguing as these theories are, they remain largely unproven, leaving us in a cloud of speculation. 
The mystery surrounding Hitler's fate adds a final twist to the many unsolved puzzles of World War II, 